saw the knife, really, I guess. The machete was the thing I was focusing on. My next thought was, they're gonna, they're gonna kill us. Show me where that safe is. These kids, not men, the kids, have ruined mine and my children's life. Ricky Bray runs a busy pub in York. In the past, he collected his takings on a Monday afternoon. He would then bring them home, ready for banking the next day. There you go, mate. Enjoy that. In January last year, this made him a target for thieves. I'd um, spent two or three hours down there in the bar. So I've been away over Christmas, New Year. I collect the takings, look at the cash, bring it back home. Put it in the safe. Ricky lives with his wife Louise and their three children in Askham Richard. That evening, the whole family were home. It was normal Monday, came home, put the money in the safe. We were settling in for the evening, uh, which involved relaxing, watching television like you do. Um, my youngest daughter was playing. While they all cuddled up on the sofa downstairs, their other two children, aged 12 and 8, were upstairs. Normal nights with the normal routines, nice television time, just a normal, normal night time. Outside, three men were lying in wait. It wouldn't be unusual on an evening, and it wasn't any different on that Monday. Um, I had Boris in and out. So I didn't lock the door every time I let him out to go outside. The men seized their opportunity and burst inside. Armed with a machete and hammer, they also grabbed a knife. Where three masked men stormed the living room. They were screaming, where's the money? I saw the knife, really. I guess the machete was the thing I was focusing on. My next thought was, they're gonna, they're gonna kill us. The, my initial thing was to protect my children. But the intruders weren't going to let anyone out of their sight. One of the men forced Louise and two of her children into a bathroom. By the time I knew what was going on, I was just heard a lot of shouting. The men were after one thing. You're gonna show me where that safe is upstairs. Ricky was pushed upstairs. There was ransacking through uh, our bedroom. Looking for the key for the safe. How do I get in? How do I get into the safe? Keys on the bedside table. <sighs> the attackers took jewellery and £20,000 in cash and ran downstairs. But the family's ordeal wasn't finished. So we thought it was over, but then the big guy came back up. They couldn't get out. They couldn't work the remote controls uh, for, the, for the gates. Come on! The family were led into the nursery and Ricky was forced to open the gate as the attackers fled in their car. I was physically sick. I was just scared. So scared for, for my daughter and my family. I was in a bit of a daze because it was almost like slow motion. My children were just absolutely terrified. What makes this even more shocking was that the robbers were prepared to utilise the three children to facilitate the parents' cooperation in this terrifying ordeal. This was even more terrifying because it happened in the family home. More than a year on from the attack, the effects are still being felt by the family. My eldest has been affected the most. It's affected him socially. He has anxiety attacks as a, as a result, which you don't want your, your, your children to have. I think about it every night. And to brand a knife and a hammer and a kitchen knife like they did in front of a two-year-old, it's absolutely it's disgusting. 15 minutes of what these children, these kids, and I call them kids, they're not men, they're kids, have ruined my and my children's life. need to be cool.